There's also the idea that a lot of African Americans live in homes where, from the time they're seven, their fathers say to them, you know, be a man. Yeah, yeah. So even um, the things that are caught inside of the homes and taught inside of the homes are going to make some of these kids, things that don't seem like they're bad things to say, man up. Yeah, you know, sure. You, uh, in, I, I don't think in many white homes a kid falls, hits his head on a, on a tree, comes home crying, and their father's going to say man up. Man up. Yeah, right, yeah. so yeah. there's yeah. that. I've gone through periods where I'll even separate different parties and different friends because... I knew not to ask this person not to be a certain way, but I didn't want to put them in the same room with another person that I would then have to juggle mm-hmm. about the, 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 t- the tie that's pretending to be white mm-hmm. and the tie that is black. You put these people in the same room, they're going to go at it, and I'm going to have to stand in the, in the middle of them like fucking Switzerland. Yeah. And, and both sides feel like I'm betraying them. So my adultification, it actually has to do with becoming more black. I actually was teased because a lot of the people that looked like me assumed that I didn't like them because I acted like the people that were unaffected by being pointed out. People didn't look at me and think that I was trouble. I didn't put out that kind of energy. It's kind of affected me a lot as I've gotten older. Like, so a lot of this adultification you're talking about, I guess I just skipped over a lot of the stuff that would make it apparent in me. You know, when the whole George Floyd thing went down, I'm the friend that everyone came to, to ask for forgiveness for the way white people have treated black people over time. They were all coming to me to apologize, but they were only coming to me to apologize because I was the safe choice. They didn't do this consciously, but they were coming to me because I seemed like the African-American that was least affected by being black. My superpower being able to synthesize and um, to see the cup as, as half full rather than half empty, it's been a huge thing for me because it's, it's allowed me to be successful early. It's allowed me to be surrounded by great people. It's allowed me to be the kind of person that, that can be optimistic and spread that and teach that and mm-hmm. radiate that. But also at the same time, the fact that I haven't carried some of the anger from some of the things that I had as a kid um, it's made me feel a little bit like ignorance is bliss. Mm. Like maybe so much of my joy and so much of my um, unique, optimistic mm. energy is because I've blocked something out. Gerrymandering and just manipulating the political system to where minority rule still happens. Um, and it's basically because of a system that's sort of holding. By a- gerrymandering, do you mean? Rigging? <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, that's where it comes from. I mean, yeah. they've changed gerry- gerrymandering was not a phrase. Yeah, right. It's in the West- Webster's yeah, Dictionary yeah, now. Is like yeah, this technical thing. But, hey, but they've we- taken it back. 